Welp, a wild week eight appeared, and now it is complete. Ow. Um, I'll have to excuse me, because it, it's been a, it's Sunday as I'm recording this, it's Sunday night, the Cowboys game just ended. We'll talk about the Cowboys um, tomorrow night or the night after or, or, or Tuesday, you know, um, we'll talk about them in a moment, but this is college football. We're talking about college football right now, baby. Um, let me tell you, Ohio State is looking pretty dominant right now. Uh, they just absolutely destroyed Northwestern. It wasn't even close. You know, 52-3, to three, Justin Fields looked amazing. As always, you know, you can't you, – you, you, the, the, I don't think there's any way to stop Ohio State right now, you know. Um, obviously, they got a big – they got some big matchups coming up in the next couple weeks, so – you never know that that could always change, but they pass another test that could have been a trap game. So, um, Iowa takes care of business as well. They're they're still right. Hard to believe that, considering they had two terrible performances against Penn State and Michigan. They they beat Purdue. And they they get the W there. Um, Auburn takes care of business against Arkansas. Arkansas is trash. Um, but then here we go with the biggest. Probably one of the bigger upsets of the season. I wouldn't say the biggest. I'd say the one last week is still bigger. But Illinois, Lovey Smith, they upset Wisconsin. They, they, I don't know what in the world Wisconsin was doing on that last possession. I caught the tail end of that game. Don't know what they were thinking on that last possession. You know, um, they, 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 they threw the ball. Didn't give it off to Jonathan Taylor at all, and they get picked off. They get they, they get their comeuppance for it, and they lose on a game-winning, time-expiring field goal, baby. And now Wisconsin has dropped from the list of undefeated. Making that game against Ohio State look a little bit meh in comparison, but... Um, Wisconsin defense is still there, you know. Um, this is the same Illinois that that played tough against Michigan. So I, I, I mean, you know, you, you figured this wasn't gonna happen just yet. You figured, okay, maybe, you go, okay, you figured maybe Wisconsin would trip up, you know, maybe later on sometime, you know, like maybe if Ohio State just had just enough, you know, to overcome Wisconsin defense, they'd get them, but. What Illinois did during that last two and a half minutes or so was absolutely brilliant. They took all the time away. They got Wisconsin to use all their timeouts. They 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 ran the ball effectively. They just did what they needed to do. Efficient. Great. Just great by Illinois. And that is a great, great win. Um Iowa State's back in the rankings, but it doesn't really matter. They beat Texas Tech, and Texas Tech is not very good. Um, Clemson, you know, Trevor Lawrence did throw two interceptions. I don't know. I don't know what the hype is all about about Clemson right now. They're really, they're really just kind of okay. Um, they're just going to probably cruise twelve and zero um, if they don't lose the Wake Forest first or something like that. You know, but you know, winning forty five to ten against Louisville isn't really that much of a stretch. It doesn't really matter all that much. Uh, Florida, oh boy. Oh boy! For the wins against South Carolina, yes, um, yeah, yesterday, um, you know, it was close for a long time, and then there was some rough ball that came in. Uh, obvious pass interference uh, on the offense. You know, there was some obvious play calls, um, obvious plays that should have been called penalties, but they weren't. But it doesn't really matter. Florida punched. South Carolina mouth, South Carolina could recover. So, you know, it is what it is. They'll, they'll take that. LSU also dominates, you know, wasn't even close. Um, not sure what in the world CBS is thinking picking this game. Should have picked the South Carolina game, but you know what? Doesn't really matter. Um, it's all over and done with now. Um, so did App State. Hey, did you know this? Um, Appalachian State, first win. Um, like, this is, like, the first 
time the Sun Belt team has won a game on the top 25. It's crazy. But Appalachian State's still undefeated. That's crazy. You know, they 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 look they looked pretty damn good. Um Oklahoma as well also looked fantastic. What can you say? Jalen Hurts laying one in completion, 300 yards passing, almost 100 yards rushing, four touchdowns. Again, you know, it just is what it is for Oklahoma. They just keep cruising and winning games like it's nothing. So did Minnesota. So did SMU. Uh, Minnesota just beat the beat the dog shit out of Rutgers. It wasn't even close. Rutgers didn't even try. They didn't they had like negative one passing yards for a long time. Um but Bouchel and and, and Roberson are down there in University Park in Dallas. They kept burning Temple's defense. It it was just a travesty. Temple's defense didn't know what in the world to do see watching that game. It was crazy, man. It was crazy. Um, looks like I know people are still complaining, you know, that, that you know there's not enough fans in the stands. But what can you do? It takes a long time for that type of thing to go away. You know, the whole stigma around the death penalty and whatnot. But I think there is a good chance um, November second that the SMU Memphis game will be in prime time, and we all and the entire country may end up watching it. So. There's a good chance. It's not a lot going on that day. So but that'll be for another time. Um, Oregon, Washington. Washington had the lead for like the entire game. They had like a 14 point lead, but Oregon, Justin Herbert, those cats down there, they kept coming back in the rain. They got they got the W. You know, it is what it is. Washington's disappointing season continues. Just absolutely disappointing. Oregon's still in it. They still they still have a shot. You know, just a just a small chance. You know, they got to avoid the Pac-12 chaos, and you know, get they got to get the playoff. They want to save the Pac-12's hopes. You know, so yeah, Oregon's a pretty good team. Uh, the defense wasn't all up to par today um, in that game against Washington, but they they did well. They did well. Um, Tulsa, Cincinnati, Cincinnati takes care of business. Tulsa's not good. Baylor also takes care of business against Oklahoma State. Baylor is still undefeated as well. Uh, they got some big games coming up against the Horns and OU as well. Um, so, you know, taking care of business against Oklahoma State was needed. Utah's defense continues to dominate. What's well, not close against Arizona State? You know, Utah's. Utah is also in it. Pac-12 title, outside shot of the college football playoff. They gotta, they gotta stay out of the chaos though. Just like Oregon, they gotta stay out of the chaos. They're the only two teams left in the Pac-12 with the one loss. Um, Georgia, they struggled with Kentucky for like two quarters and a half. Then they put up twenty-one straight. Just uh, Kentucky. Oh my goodness! And then. Then, of course, you know, Penn State, Michigan, it was not even close. You know, it really, the score was a lot closer than, than the game actually indicated. Penn State dominated in their whiteout. Clifford was fantastic. You know, Shea Patterson rattled the whole Michigan offense and the defense looked rattled. You know, even though Michigan had more yards and everything, they still did not look very good. Um, Penn State did just enough to keep Michigan out of it at the very end, and good win for Penn State. They stay unbeaten. Wake Forest is back, from my indication, in the top 25, but it's against Florida State, so it doesn't even matter. They have to get a they – they only won by two. Um, Boise State knocked off in the undefeateds now. BYU is a weird team. Very, very weird team. I don't know what in the world. I don't know. I, don't, I just don't know about BYU. Boise State's gone from the undefeated. It's probably gone from the um, the group of five major bowl conversation. They are gone from that list. And finally, we've got two these last two here, and that is first. First up, we'll talk about balls. Dot gone Kansas Jayhawks against Longhorns, man. Let me tell you, 
48 points given up by the Hornets. Absolutely dreadful. Dreadful defense. Carter Stanley was throwing the ball. Puka Williams was running the ball. What in the world was going on out there, huh? You better be lucky, Dicker, to kick her bail goes out. We better be lucky. Fire Todd Orlando right now. Somebody better, somebody better say, yo, Todd, get out. Pack your bags. Get your stuff out the office. Get out. This has been disgusting defense. Yeah, we had a good performance against West Virginia um, a couple weeks back, but these defensive performances have been disgusting all season long. This should not be occurring. Dicker to Kicker, thank you. Elliger, thank you for bailing us out. You know, we're, we're still in the Big 12 race. Hard to believe that. Hard to believe that. Finally, of course, you know, the blunder. Of Tennessee, <laughs> the blunders Tennessee Volunteers and the Alabama Crimson Tide in the third Saturday in October game. Honestly, it was a close game until the fourth quarter. Um, Tua got hurt; he's gone for the next week and next week and well, not the bye because there's a bye, obviously. But the next game that Alabama has against Arkansas. He's not playing, so, you know, but, but that doesn't really matter. What matters here is Guantanamo. Holy cow, is he trash. W- one of the worst goal line dives I have ever seen in my entire life. It's taken back 100 yards to the end zone by Alabama. Absolutely disgusting. Now, there is, like, no other quarterbacks on the roster for Tennessee, apparently. So this is just a comedy of errors, you know. And, well, what what does Alabama do? What does Alabama do? They got Mac Jones for, and I'm pretty sure they might have, um, to his brother. Uh, I'm, I'm not even going to try and pronounce his name. But um, Mac Jones, you know, he'll be the guy next week, you know, against Arkansas, but Arkansas is so bad it doesn't even matter. You know, I think they will probably dominate that game. Yeah, that's that's all I've got. Week 8 in the books. Close it up. Oh yeah, and one more thing. Speaking of Memphis, better be careful. Better be careful out there. I'm dead serious. I think that will be think they'll be going game day and stuff like that. They'll be going out to the Liberty Bowl. So they just dominated Tulane. Wasn't even close. But yeah, that's it, everybody. That's all I've got. Week 8 is in the books. Week 9 preview coming up really, really quick as I say this. You know, you know what I'm going to say. Peace. And I'll see you guys next video. Thank you.